I am coming to you from a much more intimate setting. I never film in here. I am in my bedroom where all the magic happens. I'm just kidding. There's no magic here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a highly requested video. You guys have been asking me for months to do this video, it is gonna be how to make your fragrances last longer. I have responded to a few of you guys in the comments because I get this question so frequently and I was giving little tips, but based on how many times I was being asked, I'm like, let me just do a full dedicated video so that you guys can get all of your info in one place. <laughs> but before we get started, I wanted to show you guys these beautiful roses that I got from Rose Forever New York. To die for of course I got them in baby pink as that is my favorite color they specialize in luxurious flower bouquets that are handcrafted it comes in a velvet box um, I was debating for a while between the square box and the circular one and I had like a poll on my Instagram so that my friends could help me out way more people voted for the square and then friends that I know who actually own these flowers were telling me their experience between having both and were like no girl go with the square so I'm so glad that I did. It is a perfect addition to my home. It goes so well with my decor. I keep it on my dining room table and it just looks absolutely beautiful. They do have different sizes. So I have nine roses. They also offer 16 and then they have 36. So if you would like a much bigger bouquet, go for it, Rich B. So if you're anything like me, you love flowers, you love the aesthetic of it, um, and there's nothing better than cleaning your home and then having some fresh flowers on whatever table you choose, your coffee table, your dining room table, whatever, and lighting some candles. But if you're anything like me, you can't keep a plant alive to save your life, okay? So these were made for gals like us, okay? And these actually last for a year. Yes, a year, that's why it's rose forever so we talked about the amount of roses we talked about the shape of the box and also I want to talk to you a little bit about the colors that they offer so of course we see like red roses pink roses white roses but they also offer black roses and royal blue and gold and silver like whatever your little mind can cook up they probably have it, okay? And they are all colored through a natural pigmentation process so it doesn't take away from the integrity of the flowers like bye. This is Lux, okay honey? So if you would like to go ahead and purchase some rose forever so you can have your roses forever. Forever. You can use my discount code and the Zoe, Z-O-E 20 and you'll get $20 off. All right, so now let's get into the reason why you're watching this video. How do you make your fragrances last longer? So first and foremost, I understand that not everyone wants to buy super expensive fragrances. Some people prefer body sprays, some people prefer eau de toilettes, or sometimes they just like the smell of an eau de toilette, or you like the smell of something, whatever it is, and it's just a fragrance that doesn't last. So for instance, Warm and Cozy by Pink is like one of my favorite body sprays. This isn't anything I wear for date nights or sometime that I wanna like smell good all day. I'll usually put this on like at night if I take a shower and I'm getting in the bed, something like that. Or here I have Blooming Bouquet by Miss Dior. It's a very light fragrance. This is an Eau de Toilette. So this is an example of two really beautiful smelling fragrances that I really, really like, but they don't have the kind of longevity that I will be looking for in a fragrance. So when you run into that problem, grab you some Vaseline. Yes, honey, Vaseline. So you would take the Vaseline. I'm not gonna pull it out and just waste it, but I'm just gonna demonstrate. You would take some Vaseline. You would put it on your pulse points here here on your wrists and then you would take whatever you want to spray spray it on top of that because the Vaseline acts as like a glue and it gives it something to stick to and truth be told what makes an eau de parfum last longer compared to an eau de toilette is the amount of oil in it and that oil kind of gives the fragrance something to absorb to so when you don't have that oil present in a fragrance use some Vaseline okay step number two layer your fragrances okay so i have a lot of product from this amazing black owned company called skin lux and i have seven of their fragrances so i'm gonna kind of walk you through what it looks like with me layering my fragrances with their products so i have a number of their whipped body butters i have lux bomb which is inspired by flower bomb by victor and rolf and then 
I would have the corresponding body oil. So I would get out of the shower. I would moisturize my entire body head to toe with this. And then I would take the body oil and put that in my pulse points like I showed you guys earlier. And then of course you top it off with the fragrance. So that may sound like much, but it's just like after each layer of it evaporates, the, the next layer that it's left with is more of that same fragrance. You get what I'm saying? So it definitely, it's not as overbearing as it sounds, I promise you. Cause I know it sounds like, why would you put on flower bomb body butter, then flower bomb oil, and then flower bomb. Just trust me, okay? You said you want to make it last, right? Okay, make it last forever. I also have Lux Cherry, which is inspired by Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. So I would layer these two together, of course, with the corresponding body oil. This one I love, I just love the name of it so much. It's called Lux Don't Be Shy, which is obviously inspired by Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. You guys know I love this fragrance. It's a super, super sweet, marshmallowy, gourmand fragrance. So I do these together and I do the body oil. I wore um, this body butter was it last week? I think it was the week before for my nephew's football game. And I put an entirely different scent on over top of it. I don't even remember what perfume I wore. I think it was Orientica um, Royal Amber. This overpowered everything. Like, I did not smell my perfume. All I smelled was this. So it is really, really potent. And if you have a love for like high-end fragrances and sometimes people like fragrances irritate them or something so if you would prefer to just have the oil or just have the whipped body butter all of them are amazing I swear to you like I love these okay I really really use them then we have Tom Ford bitter peach so I was not really a fan of bitter peach I'm still not totally in love with it but for whatever reason I love the body butter and oil though like I high key like it better than the actual fragrance itself because it's slightly a little bit sweeter, a little less of the bitter. I think maybe that's why, but it's not over overly sweet. It's nowhere near as sweet as like Love Don't Be Shy, but this smells so good on my skin. My sister-in-law is like fighting me for this, so I'm going to let her have it, but it's breaking every bone in my body. Every fiber in my body is wanting to have her fight me for it like <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't want to give it up but yeah then I have um Lux La Rose which is inspired by MFK's La Rose which I have here I have the little vial of it because I have the um MFK discovery set I guess you could call it with like all of the MFK fragrances so that's this one and then I also have the corresponding body oil and we have Rose Prick by Tom Ford. Now this one I don't own a bottle of because I'm not the biggest fan of Rose Prick. I think it smells extremely medicinal, but I do like, again, her body butter and oil take on it. So yeah. Tip number three is to invest in ancillaries. Yes, get the ancillaries for your favorite fragrances, okay? As you guys know, I love Delina and Delina Exclusive. So I have Delina, I wear the body cream, I wear the hairspray love this girl when I spray this in my hair like I will change my clothes it's the next day and I'm still getting whiffs of the Delina in my hair despite me wearing a whole new fragrance so really really good but that is another way to layer your fragrance so whatever is your favorite if you have a particular biredo fragrance that you like they have shower gels for them they have body moisturizers now me personally I can't use just anybody's shower gel my skin is very sensitive but I can use if they're really, really high end and good quality, I can use like a body cream or something. If you do have sensitive skin, but you want to layer your fragrances, wear whatever is like safe for your skin. If you have to do like a shea butter, that's why I do like the body butters. And that's why like, I'm not even over here just trying to promote, 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 but I really, really love them because if you're African American, you know, like shea butter is like amazing on our skin. And so it's like scented shea butter essentially. But anyway, use whatever works for your skin. And then again, hit those pulse points and put your special scented stuff where, you know, you're gonna be smelled, you know, and where it's important. And then layer your fragrance on top of that. Tip number four is wearing a hair perfume, like I just showed you with Delina. If you think that hair perfumes are too expensive, if you don't wanna invest in a hair perfume, that's perfectly fine. Take your favorite perfume, spray it on a brush, brush it through your hair, boom. Even if you don't want to do that, if that's a little too much, you don't want it directly on your hair, you can kind of just 
you know, from afar, let it rain down on you. Let the sand just fall like rain. But yes, spraying it in your hair is a great way to extend the longevity of the fragrance. You will definitely get whiffs of it throughout the night. And then also, if you are a girl who straightens your hair a lot, I absolutely hate when my hair smells like flat iron. So that's another way to just like kind of elevate your scent profile. And last but certainly not least for tip number five, spray your clothes. So in addition to spraying it on your skin and everything like that, spray it on your clothes. The material of clothing holds onto fragrance a lot more, whereas our skin, it kind of absorbs with like cotton or silk or whatever. It kind of has nowhere to go. So it just like lingers on the clothes. As you guys know, Baccarat is one of those that lingers on your clothes forever. As I mentioned in my last video where I talked about my favorite fragrances, my dress from February, from Valentine's Day, still smells like Baccarat to this day because I haven't worn it since then. So it still has the same fragrance on it since then. I cannot make this up, okay? So I consider myself an oversprayer. I don't care, I am very proud of it. That is a term that my good sis, Sheree Lewis uses, and she is a proud oversprayer. So when you're a frag head and you love fragrances and you have a lot of fragrances, you love to be smelled before you enter the room, after you leave the room, like, I want them to stop me and be like, what are you wearing? You smell so good. Being told I smell good is like a top tier compliment for me. Like probably my favorite. <laughs> probably even better than you look good or you're pretty or whatever. I love being told that I smell good. So I definitely take pride in that. So if you are an oversprayer like myself, um, a lot of these tips you're probably already doing and you probably don't have any issues with making your fragrance last. But if you're a little shy, like don't be shy, love love don't be shy but i tried to make this video short and sweet and straight to the point because a lot of y'all was getting on me about how long my videos because you know your girl can talk honey so i hope that this was helpful i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video mm -hmm.